Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's do in an example of using the solution of the differential equation of oscillatory motion. And notice that the general solution can be written as the sum of the sine and the cosine, or it can be written as a combined solution where x of t is equal to a times the sine of omega t plus a phase angle. So in order to find the final solution in this format, we will need to find the amplitude, we need to find the phase angle, and we need to find omega. And we're given some initial conditions that x sub naught, the position is 5.5 centimeters in the positive direction at t equals zero, and that the velocity is equal to a negative 32 centimeters per second at time equals zero. The spring constant is 56 newtons per meter, and the mass is one kilogram. So the first thing we can do is, of course, find omega. That's fairly easy. We can say that omega is equal to the square root of k over m. So that's equal to the square root of 56 over 1. And if we take 56, take the square root, we get 7.48. And so therefore, omega is equal to 7.48 and that would be radians per second. Those are the units of omega. So that's the angle of frequency or angle of velocity, omega. But now we need to find the amplitude A, and we can do that if we find B and C. And notice we have some initial conditions for position and for velocity. So let's go ahead and use position first. So x when t equals zero is equal to 5.5 centimeters convert to meters would be 0.055 meters and that would therefore be equal to b times the sine of 0 plus c times the cosine of 0 because time equals 0 and notice that the sine of 0 is 0 so this disappears the cosine of 0 is 1, which means that therefore we conclude that c is equal to 0 0.055 meters. All right, next we use the velocity equation. Velocity is a function of time, when time equals 0 is equal to, now we have b times omega, now omega is 7.48, times the cosine of 0, because time equals 0. And then minus c times 7.48 times the sine of 0. The sine of 0 is 0, so this term disappears. The cosine of 0 is 1, which means, oh, and don't forget that, that is equal to minus 32 centimeters per second, or that's equal to minus 0 0.32 meters per second. Okay. And also, let's see here, that would be per second, radians per second, so we have to have the per second there as well. Otherwise, the units don't match. Which means that this is zero, that means that this must equal this, and the cosine of zero is one, which therefore means that b times 7.48 per second, we don't have to write the radians, is going to be equal to a minus 0 0.32 meters per second. Notice the seconds cancel on both sides of the equation, so again we end up with meters. That means that b is going to be equal to a minus 0 0.32 divided by 7.48. Ah, that's going to be a very small number. Let's see here. Uh, 0.32 divided by 7.48. Yeah, that's a small tiny number. That's equal to a minus 0 0.04 two eight meters well let's see here maybe not so small because that's hmm, compared to c that's actually fairly close i thought b was going to be much smaller than c but it's not they're about the same size now since we have both b and c and we know that a is equal to the square root of b squared plus c squared that is therefore equal to the square root of a what uh, b is uh, let's see where are we b right here 0.0428 squared. We don't care if it's negative because we can, we're can. we squaring it, plus a C, which is 0.055 quantity squared. All right, so let's square this, plus, 
plus 1.055 squared equals, take the square root, that gives us 0 0.0697 meters, which is equal to 6.97 centimeters. So that's the amplitude of the oscillation, almost 7 centimeters. So now we have the amplitude, we have omega, we still need the phase angle. Now the phase angle, uh, let's put it over here, the phase angle phi is equal to the inverse tangent of C over B. Now, C is positive, B is negative, the signs do have to be taken into account here. So this is equal to the inverse tangent of C, which is a negative 0 0.0428 divided by B, which is a positive 0 0.055. Looks like that might be a negative phase angle. Let's see what we get. 0 0.0428 divided by 0 0.055. That's a negative inverse tangent. That's minus 37.9 degrees. Minus 37.9 degrees. So there's our phase angle. We have the amplitude and we have the frequency of oscillation or we have the radial frequency or we have the radial velocity. So now we can plug that in here. So now we have the x as a function of time is equal to the amplitude which is going to be 6.97 centimeters multiply times the sine of omega t. Omega is 7.48 radians per second times time plus the phase angle, and the phase angle is a minus 37.9 degrees, like this. And there is the final solution with those particular given numbers. And that is how it's done, applying the general solution application to, of course, what we have given, been given here.